to the Action Channel, Santa Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Scorch Silver Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it right here to. Let me say the name of the town, right? This is Lan. Lanzanton City, or Lanzan City. Lanzan. How am I saying this name, right? Lanz. Lan Lazorin Town. Lazorin City. Lazorin City. There we go. I figured it out. <laughs> well, anyway, we met up with Gold, uh, who's a good friend of our dad. Silver. There's a wall here because of the uh, flagpoles. And we learned that they are setting up for a festival of media uh, V. Uh, fe festival meteorites which can be wished upon we are not ready to uh, deal with this yet because it will happen in a few days but uh, should be a fun adventure we also learned that gold has been funding a mega evolution research lab in this town so we met up with our brother Shane and we had a mega evolution battle and it was rather fun, but it did hurt a few of our team. And whilst recovering, we lost another team member. So this is the team going into uh, going into the next part of this game. We start off with Scar the Garchomp, level seventy-seven, our Dragon Ground type, with Dragon Claw, Strength, Dig, and Crunch. This thing does not learn Earthquake when you level up. I did not realise this. So I'm kind of annoyed about this. But um, I will have to go without because I've already used my uh, Earthquake TM. So it is what it is. This is the team. So that is his moveset. Then we have Celebi or Time Lord the Celebi with Magical Leaf Safeguard Ancient Power and Baton Pass. Yeah, this thing... I mean, Magical Leaf is probably the only move I'm going to be using on this. Because again, this does not get Psychic by level up. It gets it by TM, but it doesn't get it by um, level up. You know the only move, that, uh, Psychic type move that uh, Celebi gets by level up? Confusion. So, that's awful. And we do have a better psychic type move on Sacred R Entei. Lava Plume and um, Exa Century, which is awesome. Bite and Flamethrower. This thing learns a lot of good fire type moves, and I'm excited for where it goes. So, Sacred is going to be awesome. Then we have Gone uh, V Frostmoth, level 75 with Ice Beam, Struggle Bug, Bug Buzz, and Quiver Dance. Then we have Slop R Muck. Level 75 with Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, and Mud Bomb. I'm considering for Muck, I give it the Elemental Punches. Or at least Ice and Thunder Punch. Possibly maybe let it learn Rock Slide as well. And Poison Jab? That might be Rook's final moveset. And then we have Polly, the MVP of this series so far. Polly the Polyrath, level 80 with Strength, Ice Punch, Submission, and Waterfall. So, there you go. That's the team rather quickly. Today, uh, I need to get up my Pokenav because we are heading towards Route C and Route B and C, sorry. And we are heading towards Dark Hole Town. That is where we are going. Because I believe something is going to be happening on Mount Tempest about these uh about these meteorites. So we probably need to go and deal with that. And then also in the next episode we'll head on Route E a uh, D and then Route E to Regime City. Uh, Roji, Rojem City and of course also the Battle Tower and I guess then we'll be ready to face Jirachi and whatever Jirachi's side quest is 
And from there, we can probably, after that happens, we'll probably take on the newly formed Pokemon League. Our team will probably be level 100 by that point. <laughs> and uh, we'll take on the newly formed Pokemon League and then maybe see where things go from there. And possibly that might uh, beating the. Uh... <laughs> Perhaps beating the uh, Pokemon League at the second form of asking will allow us to unlock Mount Silver. And when we unlock Mount Silver, and possibly Kanto as well, and uh, and the little bit of Kanto that's in this game, because I believe, like, Saffron is in this game by the, uh... Uh, via the... Uh, what is it? Uh, via the, um, uh, Magnet Pass. So you take the bullet train to Kanto, and that's where you get... Uh, you know, you can get into Saffron. I don't know if F, uh, the, all the rest of Kanto is here, but I know that is here. I don't know all the rest. I don't know if all the rest of Kanto is here, though. So, that's all I know so far. I'm guessing, like, gold will be on top of Mount Silver for us to fight. With his mega, uh, with a mega typhlosion. This is all guesswork, by the way. I have no idea whether any of this is true, but it seems like it could be true. It seems like it could be true. Also, this is the week. Well, I should probably talk about this now. This is the week where my 11th anniversary would be. So we are on the 11th anniversary of the channel week. Yes, that is Thursday. Actually, this is this is being recorded on Saturday, the week before. But. We are heading into the uh, week where my 11th anniversary would be. So this has been recorded on Saturday. That's a Seismitoad. That's a scary ass Pokemon for us to be facing. I need to probably run back to the Pokemon Center and heal Time Lord. Come on in here, please. You can handle Hydro Pumps. You've done it before. You just... You eat these things for breakfast. Yeah, so... I think it's the... F Thursday? Which is my 14th... Uh, which is... Not 14th. Uh, which is the 14th. And that is our 11th anniversary on YouTube. So, there you go. 11 years. That is going to be awesome to celebrate with you guys. These will have... A episode of Mystery Dungeon on the Thursday, and of course also on the Tuesday as well. Platinum will be happening on Saturdays and Sundays, and of course we'll also have a channel update uh, for you guys, where we'll reflect on what has happened over the past year, and of course also we'll have that channel update uh, telling you what is coming f uh, for the next year. Because you know that Legend ZA is probably coming in 2025, and you know that I'm going to be covering Legend ZA on the channel. My encounter for Route B is a Jellicent! Okay! I don't know how I'm going to catch this thing, because it's level 46, and I am very much not that. But, uh... Who's got moves? that can deal, uh, that can, like, sort of, sort of weaken it. Not really you. Not really you, either. 
I mean, I guess Struggle Bug is the only thing that might be able to, like, weaken it. Okay, gone. I'm going to ask you to do some struggle bugging and hope that you don't kill it. Do not kill. Oh, that does nothing. That's fine. Keep doing that. And we're lowering its special attack too, so it can't do any. It can't really do too much to us. That's awesome. So there's a lot of things I want to do in the next year. You know, Legends are. Uh, you know, Legends CA is coming up for the channel. But there's other things I want to do. For example, somebody has said for me to play Victory Fire on the channel. And I know that Victory Fire is part of a sort of free game series. So I would like to play Victory Fire. I'm going to play, I'm possibly also going to be playing Pokemon Resolute version. I think there's a third one in that series. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. But that might be played too, along with, of course, Bronze too. Bronze is happening, you know. You know that Bronze 2 is happening. I need to sort out my filter because I'm just realising that... You can see part of my green screen. You can see some green and I'm not okay with that. There you go. I am very much not okay with you seeing, my gr uh, you seeing fields of green behind me. That's probably all the damage I can do to you. And Sugar Bug has now been disabled, so yeah, that's definitely all the damage they can do to you. Alright. And I don't. Is that critical? That's a critical! But it's a critical fail. I forget you can do that. Every time I get a critical catch. I think to myself, like, of course it's going to catch. And like, no, crit, cat, crit fails can also happen too. As much as you can nat 20, you can nat 1 in this game. That's a D&D &D thing. But it, you know, it even makes sense in Pokemon that you can nat 20 and nat 1. Oh, I am under half HP, aren't I? I'm disabled no more, but I'm under half HP, so I need to heal. Because if you keep on brining me, I'm going to get under half HP, and when I'm under half HP, brine does so much more damage. One, two, that's a jump. No! Uh... Okay. Do I have anything slightly better than a Pokeball? I do. I have three Ultra Balls. Would you like one of those? There we go. There we go. I have a Jellicent. Cool. There you go. Jelly. Let me run back to Pokemon Center and heal. Um, do I have repels? I do... I have eight. All right. It'll do for the moment in time. Wait, is there more to this route? Turn. Turn. Thank you.
Because I see those trainers out there, and I just thought to myself, like, is there more to this route that I don't know about? I'm guessing maybe I could just, like, surf around the island. Yeah, I guess that's probably how we get to those trainers, if we want to fight them. Okay, so this is Route C. Oh, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't fight you. You got a man time. Well, this is not the time for me to be using Scar or Sacred. I think Polly's my only hope against this one. A plus I have Hydro Pump, which I can... Uh, A plus I have Hydro Pump and I have Water Absorb, so that helps me up with that. But also this thing is a flying water type, so if I go into Celebi, that's a bad idea. It could do a lot of damage to Celebi, especially if it has a flying type move. It could have Air Slash. Or Bounce. It does have bounce. What do I do against bounce? I mean, I'm defensive enough to take it. Yeah, I'm defensive enough to take that. I'm fine. I can take that. Okay, so that's possibly gonna... Okay, that does a little bit. Oh, come on. Firstly... The paralysis is annoying, but, like, I was gonna... <laughs> Something was like that was gonna happen anyway. And I'm so close to Dark Old Town, so I'm fine. That's a puke muku This thing only learns defensive-type moves. But I need to do... I need to not kill it, though. That's the thing, because these things have innards out. Okay, so I want to do as little damage to this thing as possible, because... Because of innards out. I mean, if, it all can, if it's all going to do is spam recover, then I might be in trouble here too. Okay, I've, it stopped using recover, but I'm poisoned. And now I'm water type. Okay. I only have nine struggle bugs left, though. So I hope I... Okay, use Memento. Which kills itself and then also lowers my special attack. But you only have two Pokemon, so it's fine. That was a silly move for you. I mean, I need an encounter. Uh, can I... Do I have... I do. Cool. <laughs> I thought... I didn't know if I had anything that heals the poison. I do. And I have stuff that heals the paralysis still. Cool. Right. I'm going to switch into Gone. Because Gone has my least effective move in Struggle Bug. And we're going to get an encounter. Which is an Alolan Executor. 
Okay, I can't struggle bug this because of the fact that it's a it's a ghost it's a grass type. Okay, I need to do damage, but I don't know what to do. Would you live a struggle bug? Just about. Psy shock. That does nothing, that's fine. Alright. Ball. I can't do any more damage to you. Yeah. Executor. I don't know why it only shows the um, the Cantolian form here in the Pokedex, but it is the Alolan form. This is over easy. Yeah, that sounds like a good name for for some eggs. I could have had a gastrodon. Gastrodon would have been cool. Of potions, so this will have to do. Do I have any other way of healing? Nope. The, there's no healy bellies here. Alright. Let's see what you have. A simian. Okay, can I handle it for Simeon? Close combat! Okay, no, I can't handle for Simeon. Oh, it's just an ice beam due to a Simeon. It does a lot of damage. Cool. Possibly because I, it lowered its stats for Spanish close combat. But it does leave in a Medicham, and I would like to switch on the Medicham into something that actually can handle Medicham. What can handle Medicham? Uh, you have Bite, don't you? You have Crunch. I mean, as long as this thing doesn't have Ice Punch, I should be fine. Power Trick. Switching attack for defense. Well, you're more of a special attacker, right? Okay, if you're just gonna spam power trick, I've got, n I've got no problem with you. Cool. Did you really need to call me right now, Dana? I don't really need to talk to you. Guess we battle you, and then we battle your wife, and then see where things go from there. Pillow Sand. Um, what do I do against a Pillow Sand? I mean, Garchomp has Crunch. Celebi has... T uh, Celebi would be weak to this. Garchomp. Hmm. 
My only problem is sure up, I think it is. You know, Power Sand's signature move. That's probably my only problem, but other than that, we should be fine. Shadow Ball. That should do nothing, right? I actually did decent damage. But another crunch should kill from here. But my special defense has dropped, so I gotta get out of here in this turn. Uh, next turn. Gotta get out of here next turn. Soul Rock. Okay. Getting out of here in a Soul Rock is fine. Polly. Because you can live a Stone Edge. You might get hit by a Psychic type move. But a Waterfall should do a lot of damage. It kills! Awesome! I mean, if I switch into Scar to face your wife, that might be an idea. Skarmory! Damn, that's a... Well, I'd like to say that's a Pokemon I could deal with with uh, Sacred. The rain is up, so I'm not going to. I'm going to crunch it. Wow, a crit did literally nothing with Night Slash. I should be like, free? Yeah, three crunches, maybe a fourth? I don't know. We'll see. One more? Yeah, one more should do it. I could probably drag it. She healed. She healed on the turn I was just going to drag and claw. Because I just felt like she was just, it was going to be over, but she healed. So it ends up taking you like five crutches to take care of. Lunatone? Well, yeah, I, w I saw that coming because your husband had a soul rock and you have a Lunatone. Future Sight! That's going to be annoying to deal with eventually, but this shouldn't take two. This should just kill. We're talking about a waterfall in the rain. That's going to kill, right? Yeah, that kills. Awesome. Can I just straight up avoid... Trainers, if I can handle it. Because I want to heal. Ah, Darkhold Town. Awesome. I can straight up just avoid trainers. I haven't left my house in so long, I've forgotten what species of Pokemon look some species of Pokemon look like. Will you show me a Beedrill? It'll be worth your while. I do not have a Beedrill to show you. I don't even have a Beedrill on my PC. So... I'm sorry, I cannot help you at this moment in time, Art. 
I might have to catch a Beedrill off screen, like I had to do with Dunspars, uh, just to see what I get for that. Oh, I wish my son would go outside and play instead of spending all his time in front of that game screen. I'm playing a Pokemon and I'm playing a game called Giratina Strikes Back. Have you heard of it? Yes, I have, and it's actually pretty good. I played that. It's awesome. It's uh, this one's pretty hard to get. If you know where you're looking, it's not that hard to get. I played it. How I might, if I can find it again, I might even leave a link down in the description to where you can get it. And of course, if you follow my ROM hacking tutorial video, which I did a few years back, I can link that down in the description as well, uh, you'll learn how to uh, create your own ROMs. Well, uh, to play these games. I can't give you the ROM, but I can tell you how to make them. I can tell you how to patch them. That's what I can do. You can't expect kids to go outside and play when it's raining night and day. We should move to a town with better weather. You probably should. But Giratina Strikes Back is an awesome game. I do suggest you play that. Okay. I am all healed. Which means, in other words, I should probably end off this episode here. We'll do some more exploring of uh, Dark Old Town in the next episode. So, that's what we'll do in the next episode. We'll, we're in the town. We don't need to worry about that. Game House. We'll go in there in the next episode. Ooh, person berry. Nice, thank you. And you'll have more berries tomorrow. Cool. Okay. And that's Mount Tempest. Alright, I mean, I guess we'll go up there eventually. We're not going to go up there now. What do you have to say? So much water around, it's a shame it's not enough to sail on. I like the dark, damp, spooky look of this town. It reminds me of home. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's this house all about? The Karate Master's house. Ooh. Okay. We'll go in there in the next episode too. The old karate master is a good teacher. He's picky about uh, who he uh, who he will train. I'm not worthy of his uh, most secret techniques. All right, we'll see if I'm worthy of his secret techniques, and we'll do all of that in the next episode. We'll go in all these houses and stuff like that. We'll even check out Mount Tempest and, of course, also the game house. And I believe this is the exit to town. My wife hasn't left the town in years. I wish I could. there was something I could do for her. Okay, so this is Route D. Alright, we'll leave that for next episode too. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Join us next time when we'll check out Dark Hole Town. And Route D. But until next time, mean to the Pokemon and get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing for more videos. And of course, if you ring the bell, you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you want to watch some more videos, there should be something in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. But until next time, I have been Lantern Joe, and I'll see you on the next video.